thought I would share my succulent soaps with you guys. So I haven't done that before and I make these quite a bit. Um, I used to do like little terrarium gardens with them. They were adorable when I had my store, but um, now occasionally I'll do them for a local store. I'm just picking bits of soap off from my last batch here. Um, but for the most part, I just sell them in gift sets. So you probably saw the thumbnail that made you click on this and that has a full set, but I'll also put um, that picture in here at the end. So what we are doing is we're pouring some, um, some soap and I have uh, it colored with my Woodland Green. I had to think, I always wanna say Everland Green, but it's Woodland Green. And that is from Wholesale Supplies Plus, it's Crafters Plus. It's my standard woodsy green that I use like for energy soap and uh, walk in the woods, all those. So these are individual silicone molds. I really love them. And what we'll be doing is going through and doing um, several different colors to kind of get the look of a succulent garden. So we have different shades. So right now I'm just pouring the dark green. Sorry if I'm a little out of breath. I was running up and down stairs doing laundry, three flights of stairs. So that has a little white in there still, which kind of gives it some dimension. So I don't worry about mixing it too well. These are the bigger ones, kind of my favorite, um, but there are some really cool shapes in here. Um, some of these I feel like I don't utilize as much, but when I buy these molds, I have to buy the whole set and I'm actually getting ready to buy a couple more sets of these just so that I can do much bigger batches because I'm making more and more of them. You can also just buy a mini set that I'll put like in a cello bag and those sell as well. So you can kind of check them out or maybe you have like a little dish or a little glass bowl is like, you can actually get little tiny glass bowls at the Dollar Tree and put like some moss in the bottom and put these in there and they have bigger bowls too. And then you've got like an instant terrarium in your bathroom, very cute or wherever in your kitchen. But I think it's cute to put in the bathroom. Conversation piece. People don't usually use them. They just use them for decoration. You can use either cold process or melt and pour. I actually use um, melt and pour for these because people aren't really using them for their skin. They're using them for decoration. Plus they come out of the molds much easier. And I'll show you how they come out when they're ready. That way they're done fairly quickly. And I can keep the price down too, because you can see otherwise it would be very labor and time intensive to have to do it um, any other way. With the cold process, it would take forever and I wouldn't be able to price them right. Unless I had like a million sets of these and I'm not doing that. using kind of a big container here. Not the best for these smaller ones. I usually will pour from a smaller one, but since I had this one out, I figured I would use it. Let's do one of these. I was hoping I had enough to do, oh, I know what I'm doing, that's why. I'm gonna do some that have um, a little bit of like a brick red in them. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna finish the rest with like a combination of um, a green and a brick red. Okay, let's take these out. About ready. If anybody is a fan of sounds, these are always like cool squishy sounds when they come out. Let me try to keep these in the right order. So we'll do all of these first. So I'm kind of piecing together a bunch of um, video clips here because I'm going to be doing several different colors of these and then I'll show you what they look like when I put them in the sets that I send out because I do have an order for one right now.
They can be a little tricky to get out, but not really. Of course, the longer you let them sit, here's another one, another shape. The longer you let them sit, the easier they'll be to get out. This is yet another shape. So there's like four or five different shapes. Actually, I think that's the same one. That's the same one we just did. I wish I could order just some more of the big ones by themselves, but I haven't been able to do that. I always have to get the sets, which is okay. And again, you'll see me do some um, different colors of these too. I like this little one too. I think it's cute. I do um, kind of a bluish color and then I'll do a lighter green with kind of a little bit of a red swirled through. Uh, we'll do that one next. And then I do, oh, here's another one you haven't seen. Um, like a brighter green. So when they all come together, it looks really nice in the box. It kind of looks like a little succulent garden. And then people actually, when they get one of these big sets, they can make a couple of different types of um, sets out of these. So they could make a couple of different bowl gardens, like I said, with the a bowl or something from the dollar store. Um, I may have one around here. I'll have to look and see if I have any of those bowls that I can show you what I mean. So you could do like a little DIY with them. But most people, um, like they'll send them out as gifts and they're always excited to get them. I've, you know, kind of gotten some really good feedback just based on these, okay. So I'm gonna finish these up and then we're gonna do a different color and go all the way through. All right, so for the next one, I have a lighter green and I'm gonna take some red and kind of swirl that into it to see the effect that gives us. Now, normally I would do this in a bigger batch, kind of um, splitting it up a little bit. I was going to do a, you know, a lot more, um, but I actually need to order some more soap base. So we're gonna wait. So I'm just gonna take this and kind of give it a little bit of swirl so you can see that it's got a bit of red running through show you what I'm doing with that. Um, I like to do some of the medium size with this. One or two big ones. Just, um, you know, I would, again, I would do more typically, but I want every box to have one to two that have a little bit more of a color like this. So we'll do some small ones. And then I already have the light green made, so I'm not gonna do more of those um, for the purposes of this video. I may do another video on making these um, actually and show you how you can do your own little succulent garden. I just have to grab some materials to show you what I mean. So I'll have to um, run out. I do have some moss I can use, but I don't know that I have a bowl, so I have to look. If I do, I'll add that right to this video. Let's see if we can get this one just filled up at the very end. All right, and then I'm gonna stop this for a second while I heat up my um, bluish gray color, and then we'll finish with that. All right, so finally, let's do the blue. It's like a blue-gray. Let me give them a little stir. Scrape some of this off the side. All right, so let's get these poured. So this is the blue-gray color. Sometimes I'll just pick these up because the soap does set up quickly and makes it a little difficult to pour when it starts to thicken there. And they're available on my Etsy shop and on my website. I think I have them on the website. I mainly sell them on Etsy. 
Okay, so we're gonna do just these for right now. We're gonna let them harden up. Um, and then when we take them out, I'll show you the lighter green color that I use that I already have done. Um, may pour a couple more of those, just depends. Again, I need to order more soap base. And then I'll show you how I put a gift box together and also a terrarium. All right, I have a little bit left just to fill these of the green, the bright green that I mentioned before. So again, I already have several of these made. So we're just gonna use the remaining bit of soap that I have. And that way, when I get my new shipment of the soap base, with these, I can make some more. So again, you can do these with cold process soap as well. Just know that, you know, it's gonna take you a lot longer depending on how many molds you have available to, um, you know, to make all the different colors that you would need to make, you know, a kind of a pure succulent box that has variety. Um, you can also use these molds though to, and I'll link these. I actually got them on Amazon, so I will link them below this video, but you can also use these to um, make lotion bars. So you can give that a try too. It might be fun to like certain ones, whoops, a little bit of soap hanging off here. Um, so certain ones might be better suited for, you know, shape wise for lotion bars and size wise. I would say maybe the, like the bigger ones, but if you wanted, you know, if somebody wanted just like a mini, lotion bar, almost like a stick of one, <laughs> you could use these um, just, you know, but I would probably say these and maybe put them in like a tin so somebody can just grab it and keep it in the tin. And let's see, let's do this one. because we only have a tiny bit left. All right, so when I come back, we'll unmold these and then we're going to put them in a gift set and make a terrarium. Sorry about the washer and dryer, I am washing my soap towels. So I'm gonna do the rest of my dishes. I'm kind of washing all of these out and then I'll be back and we'll unmold when they're ready. So I'm just going to voice over this one because the washer and dryer is a little bit loud. But you can see the colors here with the green that has that little bit of brick red swirled in. Gives it kind of a more authentic succulent look. And this way we can kind of mix in a group of colors. That's one of the brighter greens. Um, having those kind of in there, especially with the small molds, I typically save those for the, the these bright green succulent soaps. It just gives the gift sets a lot more dimension, I think. There's one of the gray blue, and I'll do different shades of that grayish blue too. I really like the way this shade come out, came out, but I kind of mixed some colors together. Um, some micas or even some pigments together to see what colors I can achieve. And as far as scenting these, I didn't go over um, what I use to scent them, but um, you just want to uh, keep, you know, some kind of a, a fresh scent. Um, I think a good one to use that I use occasionally is the green clover and aloe, and that's from Nature's Garden. Um, I'll also use white tea ginger because it's very fresh. Uh, I kind of mix it up, you know, um, according to what I'm in the mood to, to send it with and the things that I have available. So uh, moving through these, I'm going to speed this up a little bit and then we'll get to the end where I put the gift boxes together and show you how to do the terrarium. <music> gift set that someone ordered on Etsy and I'm just gonna let you kind of watch as I choose and select the different um, you know succulent soaps to put in there and make it look like it's a succulent garden in a box much like the one sorry for my weird fingers I swear I'm double jointed or something um, the one on the thumbnail picture that you saw so I kind of just piece some big ones together first and then just start popping in different ones. And I want to make sure the colors are just kind of evenly distributed throughout so that I don't have any um, 
that are you know too much of the the dark green um, you know mix in the the blue and then we just keep filling in and filling in so you can see with this gift set they really get a lot of soaps with it again you can order a small cello bag that has like five of the soaps which I'll typically do like three big ones two smaller ones something like that um, and I tend to actually even add in a sixth one just so you're getting a variety and that way you can make yourself a little terrarium or put them in um, you could even sit them like on a soap dish or just on a, a round glass dish with you know moss underneath something like that it looks great in a kitchen you know beside the sink or really wherever you want to put it I think it's also nice to put in a guest bedroom um, or a guest bathroom when someone um, is coming over to stay if you have an Airbnb for example this is kind of a nice surprise to put in the, the powder room or you know um, if you have some things that you offer I know in my own guest room I have a basket that has like different toiletries and just like a face mask and just kind of some fun surprising stuff for anybody who's coming to stay and this is something that um, I'm going to put in my own guest room very soon because I think it would look really cute to have the little terrarium or even a glass dish with you know you just use like the fake moss that you can get at Michael's or order online I've got a million different kinds because I used it in my store and um, lined my shelves with it and so forth but you can see how this has all come together and I'm very generous with the amount of soaps that I put in so here you go and now I'll show you how you can do a terrarium so this glass bowl I got at the Dollar Tree now this is a large one just because that's what I have but you can buy little mini round bowls just like this that come in sets of I think five for like a dollar um, put some moss in there and then just arrange these and what I usually do is I'll shrink wrap them and I just put a label on top that says or even on the bottom in case people want to leave the shrink wrap on that says um, succulent soap set or soap terrarium something to that effect you can fit quite a lot in this big bowl the mini ones I think are super popular um, tend to be even more popular than the big ones but again if you wanted to put something like this in your house it's a really easy way to put something together and they make amazing gifts so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you try a little DIY of your own if you do let me know